What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tata Collector and we are going to take a look today at some cartridge variations. Um, some variants. What I have here are two copies of The Legend of Zelda and um, I've got a three screw and a five screw variant in the two. This would be the three screw as you can see here. One, two, three. And here is the five screw. Of course, you got the middle screw and then screws in all four corners. And anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the differences here. First off, we can already tell that there is a difference in the label. In the three screw here, which was a later revision of the game, we've got the Nintendo uh, seal of quality down here in the right hand corner. Whereas in the five screw, we have the seal of quality here. Um, also, in the three screw, you'll see Made in Japan down here in the left hand corner. Uh, uh, like a serial number here, uh, NES ZL USA. Um, so we can already tell um, some, some differences there in the, the labels themselves. Now on the back, if we take a look at the, we'll take a look at the three screw first. On the back label of the three screw, um, all cartridge games that have internal batteries for saving uh, usually have the, the gold label on the back. And you'll have, you'll have it stamped. Um, if you can see the stamp there, the numbering stamp. And then uh, we've got red lettering here across the bottom. Whereas the five screw still has the lettering stamp, or the numbering stamp right there, but no red lettering on the bottom. And the difference is you still get the cautions. Uh, it says the game pack, I'm reading from the three screw, the game pack continue, uh, contains batteries. It may be damaged if one, game pack is removed or inserted with the power on, or two, the power switch is turned rapidly on and off. The red lettering says if you are saving your game information for later play, you must hold in the reset button on the control deck while turning off the power. Failure to do so may result in the loss of your stored game information. All right, that red lettering was not provided on the five screw variant, or the, the original five screw. Um, on the bottom here, it says, do not leave the game pack in extreme temperatures, do not immerse in water, and do not clean with benzene, thinner alcohol, or other such solvents, which is basically the same warning label that you get on your standard gray cartridges um, that you know tell you about cleaning. So what we're gonna do now and uh, you can see here on, in the top too that uh, the five screws are very easy to recognize, especially you know when they're they're sitting up like this. Is that uh, you don't have the tabs, so you'll just have the the flat pieces in the corners here. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the cartridges and take a look at the boards. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a, uh, take a look at the board on the uh, three and five screw. We'll start with the five screw. The five screw uh, edition of Legend of Zelda, the five screw variants are the original first production um, uh, making of these video games. And inside, if we go ahead and pull the board out, same with the three screw. We'll go ahead and pull the board out of it. Alright, so let's take a look at the five screw board. If you look up here, you've got a 
serial number for the board. And this says uh, NES SN ROM 01. On the three screw variant, that says NES SN ROM 04. Uh, so this leads me to believe that this was the uh, fourth, fourth in the series of production for this particular game. Other than that, um, you do have some, some chip variants here. We'll take a look. Um, in the fourth revision, or the three screw, they're using a Panasonic chip here. And the first production, or the five screw, looks like they're using a Mitsubishi chip. It looks like the, the logo for Mitsubishi which is odd. That's weird. I'm not sure if that is a Mitsubishi chip. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's the, the chip is starting with an N. Very well could be. I'm not very sure. Don't take my word on it. And then you can, see, you can tell that these two chips are also just completely different. Which, this isn't surprising with Nintendo. They would outsource companies for the cheapest chips that they could, they could possibly buy. But also, we've got this one cap here in the center on the five screw board where we have two capacitors here on the three screw. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Better. There we go. The three screw chip here was manufactured by Sony. This one looks like it was manufactured by NEC. And then these two chips here on both boards manufactured by Nintendo. We've got a Sony battery on the three screw and what looks like a Maxell battery on the five screw. So just little, you know, little differences here and there. But I just wanted to make a little quick video um, about the, especially the Legend of Zelda five screw variant. Um, this was the first time this week, actually, that I have ever come across the five screw variant for um, The Legend of Zelda. And I'm getting ready to sell a Nintendo bundle to a guy here in about an hour and a half. And uh, I'm giving him the three screw. I'm going to keep the five screw. And um, so before I meet, you know, meet up with him, I just wanted to shoot a quick video show you some differences in the cartridges if you were unaware there are variants out there uh, and there are collectors th that are variant collectors and once they've reached you know once they have the three screw then they go after the five screw versions there are some rather expensive five screw versions um, variants such as like Mike Tyson's punch out I believe that's going anywhere between six to seven hundred dollars at the moment for the five screw. But the five screw, you got to keep in mind, they were the first production run. Um, Nintendo started saving money by eliminating the two screws and just uh, redesigning the back panel to have these uh, lock tabs and then the redesign on the um, the front panel for those lock tabs to lock in which eliminated them purchasing um, screws I mean what are you saving Nintendo two cents two cents per cartridge but then when you're printing thousands upon thousands upon thousands hundreds of thousands of cartridges every little penny adds up so I get it I understand um, but there you have it folks there are the uh, the differences in the the three screw and the five screw variants for the Legend of Zelda. I hope you've enjoyed the content. 
By all means, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you receive all notifications every time I upload new content. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.